guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor and Advice. This is going to be a Capricorn reading for September 9, 2020. And there's a million Capricorns out there, so this is not every single Capricorn story. Uh, so take what is yours, leave the rest out. Also, feel free to swap around the energies. I could be talking to a cross watcher, okay? And um, Aries does go in retrograde on September 9th. That's kind of why I'm doing a checkup, all right? So let's do uh, two more shuffles for Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, you could be at a fork in the road here. Um, you're having to make a decision or choose between two things. It's telling you here to breathe, a leg up, go the distance. So you could be dealing with somebody who is going to help you out or somebody is going to help you out. And it's saying here, go the distance. This could actually work out. This could actually last. Or in general, it's telling you not to give up Capricorn. Let's see, heart chakra and third eye chakra, heart chakra right here. You could be opening your heart, Capricorn. This is something you're not used to. Let's see, Capricorn for September 9, 2020. One more shuffle for Capricorn. Capricorn. Exactly, mental conflict. It's like you're confused about somebody, Capricorn. The waiting game, you've been waiting for somebody by chance. Memories of love. Financial material changes, balance. So this could be somebody in the past that was not, um, uh, that you were waiting for, you know, to commit to you or they were waiting for you. And, you know, um, in the process, you were still able to make good memories with this person. Um, and, you know, you guys might have helped each other out financially, Capricorn. And it's saying here, you know, right now it's a, it's, it's a possibility you guys could balance out the situation. It's just... Um, your own thoughts seem to be holding you back. Mental conflict. Fork in the road. And breathe. It's telling you to relax, to meditate. Uh, possibly to take time making the decision. Let's see, Capricorn. September 9, 2020. One more shuffle for Capricorn. Yeah, with the devil card, Capricorn card here, uh, you could be looking at your own issues. You know, like I said, um, this person could be wanting to help you out. You know, you could be um, not in a good place, two of cups, you see. They're wanting to get on the same page as you, Capricorn. Uh, but with the Knight of Pentacles here, um, you know, they could be wanting to prove it to you or you want to prove it to them. The Knight of Pentacles to me is somebody who's underestimated by most people. Ten of Cups. Whoever was waiting on somebody else, you know, they've already entered this period of peace. This could be you, Capricorn, or this other person, you know. Whoever was waiting, they've become at peace. They've, they've been chilling, doing their own thing. But now, Three of Pentacles, you know, this relationship where you guys work together as a team, co-create, is wanting to come in, right? Queen of Cups here. And, you know, this person could love you unconditionally, uh, love you no matter what. Capricorn, or you love them no matter what. It could be a cancer you're dealing with. Queen of Swords, um, they could be honest with you about making changes in your life. The Moon card, um, about not seeing things clearly, or you, you know, you're not seeing things clearly and, and you've told them, like, um, you've opened up to them about your insecurity. This could be something you're wanting to do because this person could have told you they only wanted something serious. So... Uh, this is like an insecurity here of having to work on things. Let's see. And take it how it resonates. Like I said, feel free to swap it around. Capricorn. Yeah, wanting a transformation in the relationship. Uh, but, you know, you could be lying to yourself a little bit or not seeing things clearly. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, wanting to switch things up for the better. So Capricorn, what is the Three of Pentacles for the September 9th over here by the Memories of Love and the Waiting Game for Capricorn? Yeah, you see, somebody was sneaky. They weren't honest. They could have been keeping their options open in general, Capricorn. You were this person. You know, they kept the other person waiting while the other person went around and, you know, they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Uh, they could have been manipulative. You were this person king of cups and now this person really does love you and they want to come back or vice versa you really love this person and you're choosing to walk away from certain addictions behaviors um thought patterns that just don't benefit the you know that just don't benefit you guys right so what is this queen of cups for capricorn you could also be dealing with the pisces right a cancer capricorn 
Queen of Swords. You see, whoever loved you unconditionally, you're this person, Capricorn. You could have loved them unconditionally. Done with the games. That's honestly what it looks like here. So what is the... Yeah. How much you want to bet? Yeah, Six of Swords. Move things on for the better. Um, what is this Moon card, Nine of Wands for Capricorn? What's holding you back? Yeah, the heartbreak and the pain. You could be telling yourself you don't deserve it. They could be telling themselves they don't deserve it. It could be a Scorpio. Um, wanting to end it, possibly. So what is this Moon and Nine of Wands, Three of Swords? Wanting to be single. And that could be a decision you're wanting to make. Like, you know what? I've been through so much. I think I'd rather stay single. <laughs> or this person is like, you put me through so much. Like, I don't know if I want you anymore. You know, take it how it resonates. Uh, with the temperance card, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius Capricorn. Um, yeah, somebody's insecure. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Doesn't want to talk. <laughs> Right. And um, wanting to keep their options open, play games. Uh, this is the Queen of Wands. That's somebody who knows they're attractive in a way. So they're very free spirited as well. So what is this Six of Swords for Capricorn? Eight of Wands. See, somebody's wanting to communicate, but I feel like you guys are not on the same page, Capricorn. Uh, what is this Three of Cups, Three of Swords before I continue, Capricorn? Nine of Swords, Page of Swords. See, somebody's stressed out, okay? I feel like this energy where somebody does not trust somebody, so they rather not get with them because they don't like that feeling of always having to wonder or watch their person to see if they're being loyal. Like, that's the energy that it is. Um, so let's see, Capricorn, September 9th, 2020. One more shuffle for Capricorn. See, somebody's wanting to reconcile here. It could have been whoever um, was just not ready at the time. Engagement. You see, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Maybe you guys were like fuck buddies or something. But now, right, go the distance. Um, you guys could be taking the next level up here. You know, uh, maybe somebody needs help financially. Um, somebody could be moving in with somebody here. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, they could be very immature, you know, they kept you like a secret in the past, they didn't know how to communicate. It's saying it is safe for you to love Sagittarius and to stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, reconciliation Sagittarius. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close it off there, Sagittarius. It's just a lot of trust issues. Um, I mean, uh, Capricorn, not Sagittarius. Wow, you really could be dealing with the Sagittarius Capricorn. But... You know, Capricorn, um, it's 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 taking the next level up in the relationship. It's just, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, insecurities here. You know, maybe you rather go do your own thing because this person did that to you, right? Uh, take that out. Resonates, right? All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here, Capricorn. Um, if this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to subscribe. All right, guys. Like, share, leave a comment. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later. Have a great one. Bye.